What's good, YouTube? This your man, Spill Dog. Man, uh, we got a, a good fight coming up soon. Uh, I, I, I'm thinking it's in, I think it's this month or November, I'm not sure, but uh, Sebastian Fondura, he gonna fight the boy uh, o Ocampo. It might, it, it actually might even be on his undercard of uh, of uh, Deontay Wilder. I'll find out by the time I make another video exactly when it is. But uh, I saw an interview that he had on Fight Hype the other day. And, you know, when these guys keep talking about, you know, uh, you know, Boots or who else should just move up to 154. And that even go for Errol. Uh, 154 loaded with, with talent. It really is, man. Uh, I You know, you got... You got uh, Charlo up there. You got uh, Tony Harrison up there. You got J Rock up there. You got um, you got the boy Fondura up there. Yeah, I mean, you got you know, even though he's been knocked out, Eric Salubin is uh, is solid competition. You got Danny Garcia up there now. You know, uh, it ain't really like you know, it's not like you're gonna jump up in that division. I think Laura's still up there, and just. And it's just gonna be no cakewalk for you, you know. Especially if you're trying to get to, get to them belts. Uh, Charlo got all the belts, and he don't fight a whole lot. You know, he like a, he like fight once a year too. So it ain't like you don't get a whole bunch of chances to win no belt up there as long as he got them. And shit, it's gonna take a bad boy to go in there and whoop him. I mean, uh, Charlo is them Charlo brothers is uh, some real serious fighters, man. Uh, you know, I think Earl will do fine at 154 because he's a naturally, he's, he's already kind of, in my opinion, kind of big to be in the welterweights, and he take a good punch. But uh, some of them other dudes, like I heard at, at one time Keith talking about going up there, shit, if you worried about fighting boots, how, how you going to go up to 154? Some of the stuff they saying don't make sense to me, you know, uh the fight's not going to be easier up there. I mean, it, it might be a few fights easier, but... But the top guys is probably better than most of the top guys at 147 outside of uh, Spence, Crawford, and uh, maybe Boots. You know, uh, I don't know who Keith is no more. I would like to see. You know, I, I really hope he get back to fighting so I can see if he still got it. You know, uh, but 154 ain't no safe haven for uh, these cats who thinking they can't get a shot at the title at 147. You know. <laughs> Is either you might not get a shot, or you, I mean, you gonna have to go through some fire. Uh, I don't, I don't know, except I say maybe Spence and Garcia might be the only ones who really got a name big enough to just go straight to the division and get, uh, you know, a chance at, at, at a, like a title shot or something like that. And you know, Spence and Charlo is friends and got the same trainer, so I don't see him going up to 154 to fight his boy, you know, so, uh, I'm, I really don't, I'm, I, I, I'm kind of confused on what, uh, Errol is going to go, you know, not, like I said, I know he's going up to 154, but if he ain't going to fight Crawford, when, and then who he going to fight, there's plenty of fights up there, it ain't like, I'm worried about him, uh, with nobody now, except, I feel like Fondura is a problem for everybody in that division, uh, only because I seen him take some good punches from Eric Lupus, and which lets me know he ain't got no glass jaw, you know. And uh, the boy got some nice pop on them punches, and his arms is so so long. If he gets you hurt, it's gonna be it's hard to get away from him. That's what I've been noticing, you know. If if he get a guy hurt, his arms is so long, it's it's hard to get away from from that onslaught. You know, uh, and if he, and if he if he get you in trouble, and it's early in the round, <clears throat> if you're an experienced fighter and know how to go in there and tie him up, and hold on and don't mind how it look for a little while and get your and clear your head back up, you're gonna be on the deck. You're gonna be on the deck because he throwing, he throwing, he, he he real busy like Arrow. He throwing, trying to throw a hundred punches around. And this boy about six, six foot six or something. I mean, he a giant for them to, for that division. So now he he got a real small frame. So you know he he's, he pretty skinny. So that could benefit. You know that could help out a lot. But uh, 
I, that ain't nobody I'd be, you know, I, none of the guys, I wouldn't, I ain't no rush to throw Spence in the ring. Boots, none of them in the ring with that boy right now. Uh, I think Boots would have a better chance than most because of his height. But, it, you know, it, it ain't going to be no height compared to that dude. He a giant over any of them guys from about middle weight on down as far as just his height alone. Uh, but once again, he got a slim body frame. I feel like Earl could break him down over the course of 12 rounds. But he would, Earl would have to get on, on the inside and just move into that, move in his house, basically. I mean, he had to stay in his chest and and watch that up that right uppercut the entire fight because you can't you man, it ain't a safe distance for you fighting against him he can, he can get at a real comfortable distance there's no safe distance except damn near on the other side of the ring from this boy so you know uh these guys better know if you know if you run up to 154 like people like Keith and Danny Garcia you better be somewhere working on that power well within a four or five rounds. You can put these dudes on, on the deck because if not, it's going to be, a, I think, Keith and Danny going to have a problem up there at 154. I think Boots and Earl are big and strong enough to uh, to just pretty much still be themselves when the time comes. I'm not sure about Crawford, you know, but he do have the, the reach and the, uh, the boxing IQ to uh to hang up there but besides them three i don't know you know spence crawford and uh boots i think any of the any of them other ones uh they have a lot of problems going to the 154 pound division uh from where i'm sitting at uh but yeah but that's it for me on this video if you like the video hit the like or subscribe to the next time it's your boy spill dog i'm out